My next guest is about to do some dancing herself. Paula Lane is set to tour the UK in Kinky Boots the Musical, which comes just two years after her dramatic Coronation Street exit. I'm not giving up on you now. <laughs> All right, Laura, you so stop talking no, like this. No. I want to say it while I still can. You tell the kids that I love them. I'm going to miss them so much. I had too much to be proud of her. Them too. At least I did something right, yeah? You're gonna be the great dad you always was. And you're gonna carry on for them. Ah, oh, and Paula Lane joins me now. That's, that was quite hard for you to watch yeah, there. I can see yeah, you getting it emotional. Is, it is, it is, it is emotional to watch. You know, I still hold it really close to my heart. Of course. Get the tissues out every time I see clips of it. That was, <laughs> honestly, that was such a huge storyline. Everyone was gripped. Did you have to sort of mourn Kylie after you left Coronation Street? Because it, it must be... I mean, I'm not an actress, but you must become so close to the character. That's it, and the cast. Yeah. Like, we were a proper family yeah. unit, the Platts. You know, me, Jack, Helen, Ben, Lucy, mm -hmm. uh, Tina O'Brien. So I really felt like I had lost my family for a little, you know, a little mad, bit. It's mad, isn't it? Yeah. It's mental. Uh, you, said, you said that, you know, you, you sort of knew your time was up at Corrie. You, you, your heart wasn't in it as much towards the end. I think it was just a natural progression for me. I'd played her for six years. Yeah. I was at a part in um, my life where I just thought I was seeing new dramas being made and yeah. going to the theatre, and I thought, oh, do you know what? I really just want to try try other things. Yeah, that's so natural. It's so nice that you say that. It's, yeah, it's, it's brave. It's a, yeah, okay. yeah, no, it's brave, <laughs> but it's, it's a natural thing. That's life, isn't it? It's totally life. Uh, Corey fans can be quite hardcore. I'm one myself, and I know that if, if I saw Pat feeling in the street, I'm not sure how I would feel about it. <laughs> To be honest, uh, did you did you find that hard to deal with if your character was going through some sort of tricky storylines? Would people be quite opinionated to you if they if they saw you about? Um, I never really had um, a tricky time with that. I made a conscious decision from the off to make her very different to me. Yeah. So if I was ever like in the supermarket, I'd put my, my glasses on and a hat right. just to kind of okay. yeah. Just have an easier life of it, yeah, really. Yeah, totally. But um, totally. people, yeah, they would be quite passionate about yeah. it. But rightly so. I mean, you're in their living rooms. Of what course. is it, six days a week now? Yeah, you're, you're, you're so invested. You really are. Yeah. Can it feel like, obviously, playing a character for so long? Can it feel like you lose your own identity a little bit? The lines do get blurred a bit, I have to say. Mm. And I always used to think, if I put on one of her uh, outfits that I liked, I thought, actually, this is wrong. No I wanted way. to feel really opposite to her, yeah. so I always used to get them to put like really smudgy makeup on me, My clumpy sister. mascara, you know, yes. like kind of really slicked back hair that I hate on myself. Right, so yeah, that's, um, that's a really good idea. I suppose you have to, to feel completely different when yeah. you are just being you. But it is tricky because when you are playing, you know, that part mm -hmm. constantly, Yes. It is, you know, sometimes they do merge a little bit. Of course. Now, um, I know that, you, like you said, it was like, losing a family because you're close, so close to all the cast. Uh, Jack P. Shepherd, who mm -hmm. plays David, uh, you must have been so, so close to him, right? Yeah, really close, yeah. Um, when I left, <clears throat> I actually had to say to my husband, I'm just going upstairs to have a little weep and I'll be back down as Paula in a minute, <laughs> OK? And he's like, yeah, yeah, you're fine, Sorry, go on, yes. yeah. yeah. Uh, well, we've got a little message from him, actually. Oh, yeah. Yes, we told him you were coming <laughs> on, here he is. Oh, no. Hi, Paula, I'm on the west coast of Scotland minute but uh, I heard you were doing kinky boots so I wanted to say good luck, uh, send in all my love and I miss you loads. Oh bless him. Yes, I know, he's oh. away and he just wanted you to know he missed you loads. That's yeah. lovely, isn't it? Um, do, do, you think you'd, do you think you'd ever go into another soap or do you think that? Yeah definitely, I'm not opposed to any work really yes. as long as it's kind of the right role for me. Absolutely. Um, who knows? Uh, well, your new role couldn't be any more <laughs> different <laughs> to Kylie. Uh, you're about to go on tour with Kinky Boots. I, I found it quite reassuring because everything is in place. Like, you know you're on to a winner with yeah. it. Yeah. Um, you know, yeah. that the lines are set. So as long as I just kind of do my job right and do as I'm told. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. uh, you've got your own number. I do, musical. History of Wrong Guys. And, and what's it like singing? Because obviously we know you for acting. Yeah. But is, is, that, is that always been a big part of your life? Um, 
not really. And I made a joke with the director. I said, since I had my children, that's when my singing voice came out a lot more. Oh, you I'm not have sure to three little ducks, nursery really. Lines. You know, yeah. compared to three musical theatre. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, but the, the great thing about Lauren, the character I play in Kinky Boots, is she's very, very quirky. So I can put the comedy into the right, song as well, okay. which that always helps. helps. That helps. Yeah. I, I did that on most of my career in the days, <laughs> just tried to make it comical. <laughs> uh, now, you, you've got two young children. Do. How old are they? Three and, and two. Three and two. Yeah. I mean, lovely, lovely ages. I know you said before, uh, being on Corrie, it's kind of hard. and I, I, I totally get that, that sort of mum work balance. Mm -hmm. uh, how is that now with going on tour? Because you, you took quite a lot of time out, didn't you? Yeah, and that was really special for me because I only had 11 weeks. Um, after having Arthur, I went yeah. back to Corrie. So Penny's had me for pretty much two years. Yeah. So yeah, they're, they're all just, they're yeah, all right. You know, know. It's, we Skype and I mean, isn't technology brilliant? It's FaceTime. so brilliant. Yeah. And so there's nothing like mum guilt. There isn't, there yeah, really isn't. And I no. think whatever you do, whether you're working, whether you're at home all day, you still get it, don't no, you? No, you do, yeah, you do, you definitely do. do. But um, I, I hope that in years to come, they'll be like, my mummy, my mummy did this production. Of you know, course hopefully. they will, oh my goodness, yeah. of course. My, my little girl now, all she wants to do is come, come to work. She's fascinated, <laughs> yeah. she's absolutely fascinated.